when you look at these two layouts, they look pretty much the same. We have an image on the right, text on the left, and a button. But there's a huge difference. And for you to pinpoint the difference, you need to come over here to the wireframe view. Now, do you see what is happening in the first section here? Look at all that. The group, we have all this going on here. So much going on. And yet on the bottom here, we only have a section and then we have this and pretty much there's less code. How is it possible that we have this layout and yet one has more, more things going on and the other one has less? That is because of the new grid builder in DV5. And I'm going to show you step by step how to create this. All right, so let's clear everything here and let me show you how um, to design your layouts the best way now using the grid. All right, so first of all, let's clear the layout here. Now I'm gonna use SideCrafter for this because it just makes the whole design process faster, but you can do it manually. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click here on this plus button. This is where we get to choose our options, whether we're gonna go with flex or we're gonna go with grid. So I'm going to go all the way to grid. I'm going to come all the way down here and I want a 50-50 layout. So I'm going to choose this one right here like that. Okay. Now I know we have information that can go into this one, that one, this one on the bottom. So the quickest way to get rid of it is just to come over here to the right and just click delete and delete. So now we have the grid with two columns. The next thing I usually like doing is to come over here into the row settings and then I'll go into design, layout, and this is where I want to change this 60 pixels. I don't really like that value. So I'm going to put my own. I'm going to go with 2rem, and I'm going to do the same here as well, like that. So at least the gaps are, you know, much better. Okay, so you can see here it says two columns, which is brilliant. Now let's start adding all our elements in. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, and the first thing I'm going to add is my text. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. Okay, let me see. Yes, we still have some text to add in there. I'm going to duplicate this. And then I'm also going to add two buttons. I'm going to click here on this plus button. This time for me to achieve buttons side by side, I'm going to need a group. So I'm going to come over here, select my group. And then I'm going to go for my button module. So at this stage, I'm just adding all the elements I want in place, and then I'm going to go in and style it later. Over here on the right, this is where we get to add our image. So I'm going to search for my image module and then select it. So I already have an image in my media library, so I'm just going to click here and then select my image like that and then click on upload image. Great. So now we have all the elements we need. The next thing I need to do now is to add a bit of padding both to the top and the bottom of my section. So I'm going to come over here to my section settings. This is where now I get to use SiteCrafter. So for those of you that don't, that, that don't use SiteCrafter, you want to come over here to design and then you want to go to spacing and then you're going to add your margin top, margin bottom. But it gets all crazy because if you want to have it responsive, then you have to have clamp and all that good stuff. But anyway, Everything is all set for me here in SiteCrafter. So I'm going to add my attribute and it's going to be CSS class. So I'm going to type it here, CSS class. Now, the reason why I name them is because if I do decide to have attributes in the future, I will know that my attribute here is a class. Again, I'm going to name it over here and then I'm going to have my section. So I want to make this section large. Oops, no, let's go medium. Okay, so we're going to go section medium. And I think we may also want to add a background color. So I'm going to say uh, BG gray for my color. I'm going to go with gray 100. Okay, that's a very light gray. So far, so good. I think I like what's, uh, what's happening. Now it's time to go in and start stylizing this and make it look really, really cool. So I'm going to start with this first one here. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of some of this text here like that. Then we're going to come over here to advanced attributes again. So each time I'm going to add classes as I'm because this is a class based editing system. Okay, I'm going to have to add my attributes. So I'm going to say CSS class. 
And then over here, I'm going to add my attributes. And the value is going to be headings. So I'm going to go heading. And I'm going to go with six. Yeah, I think that's the right size. Maybe five. Okay, so we're going to go with five. So I think that works. If I need to make it bold, I can just say, uh, let's go with 700. So it's going to be font 700. Okay, so it's nice and bold, as you can see. If I need to change the colors, I can always go in and change the colors as well. So for the color, um, let's go with gray. So text gray, if we want it much darker, we're going to go with gray 700. There you go. So it's nice and gray 700. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to close out of here. Now let's go to this bar paragraph text. So I'm going to select it. And then over here on the advanced, again, this has to be an attribute. So we're going to say CSS class. And then over here on the name, it's going to be class. So this now, we want some larger text. So I'm going to go with text large. Okay, that's a bit too much. In fact, you know what? We can just go in here and get rid of some of this text. Okay, so far so good. I like that. So now we need to address our buttons. We want them side by side. So I'm going to select the group like that. And then over here now on um, design, we are going to go to layouts. So when we need to uh, align things and on and so on and so forth, this is where we get to use Flexbox. So this time I'm going to change direction and now they're side by side. So you can see everything is now coming in really, really good. All right. So now that we have this, I know that as I'm looking at this, the spacing here is not right. So I'm going to go into, oops, sometimes I can't get to select it. So I'm going to go in here. Now look at how clean this is. Isn't that cool? I'm going to go into my row settings. And in my row settings here, column, and then I'm going to go to design layout. So I just want to zero out this so that I can add my own custom side, uh, spacing. Again, I'm going to come over here, layout, zero that. I'm going to save that. Now, let's see if that has worked. Let's refresh this. In fact, let's save it first and then refresh. Now, this is something that a lot of people uh, do wrong. I mean, you need to make sure you zero out the spacing here so you can add your own spacing. All right, so I've done it there, and now I need to do it on um, over here on the row as well. Okay, I've done it there. Have I done it here? Okay, there we go. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm just going to make sure that this one here is done as well. Hmm. I wonder why that didn't update. Okay, so let's go back. Now you can see we we have zeroed out all the spacing. I can now go in and add my spacing scale, and this is where things get very exciting. So this row, I mean this um, group needs to be. Okay, in fact, let's just go in the advanced here so we can see what we're doing. It needs to be about maybe small, and then the other two can be medium. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to add CSS class. Okay, and then attribute name is going to be a class. Okay, so now it's the value. So this is where I can get to add margin top. So I'm going to say MT for margin top. So I want the buttons. Okay, the spacing to be small. You see that? So that's the spacing. But between this and that, I want to add medium. So let's go ahead and do that. So back over here, I'm going to go into my module settings, advanced. And then again, oh. We have a class, which is fantastic. So if, if we already have a class, we can just add one. 
So again, we're going to say margin top. And this time, did we say medium? Yes. So this spacing here is half that. Okay. So you can see now this is slightly different, but there isn't a written rule. So you can actually say maybe this is small, right? For the margin top. And then over here, instead of having it small, you can say, okay, I want this to be, oops, you need the group. So let's go to our attributes here and let's go into this pencil icon. So instead of having it as small, you can actually have it as medium. So this is two times the spacing over here. Or, so it just depends, you know, how, how much uh, spacing you need. You can even go extra small. Let's get rid of the first one. And now we have our spacing. So like, so when you take a look at this, you can see it's totally different to the default spacing that you get with uh, with DV. All right, so let's leave it at that. And I think that's, uh, that's okay now. We don't want to spend too much time uh, on the spacing, okay? So now that we have this, the question now is, how does this look when we go mobile? So if I go into tablet mode, this is where you get to decide what you want to do as a designer, because you may not want it to look like this, but where it's more pro um, pronounced, it's over here on the phone. Do you see how bad that is? So when you're in this mode right here, okay, so what you want to do, because remember, we have our, in fact, let's go into our wireframe view and make sure we select our, our rows. So what you want to do now in this case is to go to design. So you see where we have our grid here, right? It says number of columns, two. We change this to one. Hit enter and save. Now let's take a look here and see what it looks like. There we go. So you can see now that in the mobile view, okay, in the mobile view, it looks like that, right? Row columns, one. Over here, I think it looks good like that. But on the desktop, it needs to be side by side. So I am going to... Oops, what happened here? Okay, let's add two. There we go. So we want two columns. Let's save. So we want two columns and then one column. This is strange. Okay, we want one column here. There we go. So it's two columns on the normal desktop, one column on the mobile, and on the phone, it's one column. Fantastic. So I'm happy with that now. So let's save, and now let's do a preview. So when we right click and say inspect, guess what happens now? When I make the screen smaller, boom, do you see that? And now it looks really nice. Now look at the spacing. Now remember, I was telling you that the spacing from Side Crafter is fantastic. Do you see that it gets smaller depending on the size of the screen? You see that? It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger as the screen gets bigger. And this is fluid spacing, okay? So this is how you build, you know, really cool looking layouts, but this time using the grid system. You have less code, you have so less things going on here. You can see it's much, much cleaner. Whereas before we were playing around with flex box, we were trying to wrap things up in, uh, in flex, it was just too much. This needs to be the new way. You need to start designing your layouts. Anyway, guys, let me know how you design your layouts in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.